Today, we will talk about Common Equity Tier 1, CET1. Common Equity Tier 1 is a component of Tier 1 capital that primarily consists of common stock held by a bank or other financial institution. CET1 is a capital measure introduced in 2014 to protect the economy from a financial crisis. All Eurozone banks are expected to meet the minimum CET1 ratio requirements as outlined by financial regulators. The Basel Committee formulated a reformed set of international standards following the 2007-2008 financial crisis. These standards, collectively called Basel III, compare a bank's assets with its capital to determine if the bank could stand the test of a crisis. A bank's capital structure consists of several tiers, with CT1 being the highest quality of regulatory capital. CET1 is at the bottom of the capital structure, and any losses incurred are first deducted from this tier in the event of a crisis. If this deduction results in the CET1 ratio falling below its regulatory minimum, the bank must build its capital ratio back to the required level or risk being shut down by regulators. During the rebuilding phase, regulators may prevent the bank from paying dividends or employee bonuses. CET1 comprises a bank's core capital and includes common shares, stock surpluses from the issue of common shares, retained earnings, and other elements. Additionally, due to Basel III capital and liquidity rules, all banks must have a minimum CET1 to risk-weighted assets ratio of 4.5%. CET1 capital is one component of total Tier 1 capital. The other component is known as additional Tier 1 capital, and the sum of at 1 and CET1 makes up Tier 1 capital. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Common equity Tier 1 covers liquid bank holdings such as cash and stock. 2. The CET1 ratio compares a bank's capital against its assets. 3. Additional Tier 1 capital is composed of instruments that are not common equity. 4. In the event of a crisis, equity is taken first from Tier 1. 5. Many bank stress tests against banks use Tier 1 capital as a starting measure to test the bank's liquidity and ability to survive a challenging monetary event. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.